Hello and welcome to the Dustin and Eric Podcast Show, brought to you by Mimosa Networks. That's Eric. Hey, he is Dustin. And today we're on episode number 16. We're going to talk about the Spectrum Analyzer in our radios. So it's a pretty much a, a more in-depth discussion on what everything means on the Spectrum Analyzer. Special guest, no one. <gasps> You're kidding me. No, there's nobody here. It's just us. Hey, what's and the password? Guys. What's the password for, for my uh, for twenty nine dot two hundred? I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm logging into something right now. That's great. Go ahead. So let's keep going. Carry on. I'm getting to a spectrum live spectrum. So today's main course, the spectrum analyzer. So <laughs> for those of you familiar with Mimosa radios, you log in, you go to the channel and power page, you have the spectrum analyzer. The spectrum analyzer, it actively scans the spectrum in the background to report on interference sources that may impact link performance. This particular slide, there's a lot of interference that may impact oh link performance. Um, wherever this is from, I believe it's from South America. I think these guys have probably chosen the cleanest channel available to them, and it's not very good. And look how wide we're going right here. Oh, a 1 by 80. Oh, my. Yeah, they want that throughput, but I don't think they're really going to get it. You can click the local, remote, and combine buttons to each radio spectrum individually or simultaneously. Note that the remote side data may take as much as five minutes to populate. So this is a very good tool. This is what uh, us and support use to look at people's uh, spectrum for both radios is by hitting the combine button there. And it's something that we try to get our customers to do too because a lot of the times we see in support that they're only looking at the AP radio spectrum. They choose a channel and then wonder why they have bad performance. That way you can see both uh, both routes of the traffic right right there. Right. right? So you, you can make sure you choose a clean channel on both ends of the link instead of just the AP side. Um, you'll need to learn how to read the spectrum analyzer so you can correctly tune your RF links, which we were just talking about. So as you can see, this spectrum is also pretty bad. This is on an 11 gigahertz radio. I believe this one was in Iraq. So, uh, again, not great choices here, but it looks like uh, we helped this person choose the best channels available to him. So, the Spectrum Analyzer, um, it's actively scanning, like we talked about. Um, channels in use have higher signal amplitude on the, the vertical axis and are shaded in different colors to represent how often signals are likely to be on the same frequency and the same amplitude. So we have down there uh, the little graph. Oh, yep. It's the CDF graph, uh, cumulative yep. distri distribution function, CDF. The, curl the color red suggests the highest probability. So this is your noise floor here. So you have a 100% chance of having interference because that's a noise floor, while purple represents the lowest probability. So in this particular slide, this is pretty purple, so it's intermittent interference, but you still probably don't want to deploy in that chunk because you won't have good performance all the time. You would rather choose where this is at or somewhere else on the spectrum there. Uh, so this particular one at 5,500, uh, it's between neg 50 and neg 60 in interference. So you know that's a really hot signal. That's something that's probably... If this is on a tower, it's on the same tower or a neighboring tower, or it's something on the same rooftop as you have deployed on this particular radio. Um, the colored bars underneath the spectrum analyzer graph represent regulatory restrictions. So the red here is restricted by country. Uh, the green is the actual channel you're using. And then the gray down there at 5800 on this graph is manual exclusions that you've added or somebody else that has access to this radio has added to keep your radio from selecting that channel or to keep a user from selecting that channel. Um, there are a few additional items to note on the Spectrum Analyzer. Associated Mimosa clients are excluded from the Spectrum Graph, but third-party clients are not. So if you're doing point to multipoint, you're doing Wi-Fi interrupt mode, uh, then you'll see those clients show up on the spectrum graph. If you're doing point to multipoint with Mimosa radios, then you won't see any interference spikes from those guys. Um, once clients have connected, the combined spectrum view in the upper right corner, and again, this is for point to multipoint, uh, it will show you a weighted view of the A5 and all the C5 client spectrum graphs. 
and it's useful for determining a channel that is best suited for all the associated devices on that particular access point. So here's an example of using not GPS synced radios together. So this particular graph here shows four A5Cs in Wi-Fi interop mode. And you see you have to use different channels. You see all the interference from the different APs on the spectrum graph. If you move to SRS mode, you can see that the spectrum cleans up quite a bit. You're removing your own interference. So you're able to reuse channels for most of these APs. And you're cleaning up the spectrum for other people as well because you're reusing the same channel. I still see the, uh, I still see the active, active frequencies and the amplitudes, partial amplitudes of, of those, say, those clients that are out there in the field, see that, as they go up and down, but they live in the same part of the spectrum there. All right, All right so again, we just wanted to do a little uh, in-depth <clears throat> mm -hmm. uh, spectrum analyzer show here. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. You can post questions on the YouTube page. You can post questions on the community page, or you can come to Mimosa Support Chat and talk to us live. Uh, but other than that, thanks for watching, thanks for listening, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next uh, Mimosa Podcast. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Please hit the subscribe or follow button to stay up to date with our latest podcast, which will be available on YouTube, iTunes, Google Play, and SoundCloud.